What can you say about this image? This image shows a cycle of a person putting his money in the bank and comes out with an interest. How about you? Do you trust your money in the bank? Is it to save and to safeguard your money? Always remember that when we save, our money earns a certain amount of interest. And having a sort of interest is a way to earn money. So if you want to learn more about interest, then watch this video. Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Math Room by Teacher Joan. Here in this video, we'll talk about another lesson in business mathematics. And our focus is on interest, specifically the simple interest. Here are the learning objectives. At the end of this lesson, we should be able to define interest and simple interest, illustrate how to solve a simple interest, and solve problems involving interest. When does an interest exist? There is an interest when we deposit money in the bank, we borrow money, we apply for loans such as car, house, and other properties, we invest to financial institutions. So what is an interest? When we say interest, it refers to the charge or fee for using someone's money. So when a money is deposited in a bank, the bank uses the money to lend to someone who is in need. In doing this, the bank earns by putting interest on the borrowed money. And when the borrowed amount is bigger, the higher the interest is. Likewise, when the borrowed money is to be paid in a longer time, the higher the interest. There are two types of interest. We have the simple interest and compound interest. We will first focus on the simple interest. So when we say simple interest, it refers to the charge on the amount invested or borrowed on which the interest charge is calculated on the principal. Simple interest is usually used when it comes to buying anything and generally for loans of one year or less. And also simple interest is used for car loans. The computation for the simple interest is quite straightforward. It is the fastest way to compute for the interest. To compute for the simple interest, we need to follow the formula I is equal to P times R times T, where P stands for the principal, it is the amount borrowed or invested, R refers to the rate, it is the rate paid for the use of money, or the percentage per year, T stands for the time, it is the length when the money earns interest and is calculated in years. For our first example, let us find the simple interest. Suppose you invested an amount of 20000 for 5 years and earns 7.5% simple interest. What is the simple interest earned? Based on this given problem, we have the principal amount, which is 20000 We have the rate which is 7.5%, and in decimal, this is 0 0.075, and the time, which is 5 years. To find the simple interest value, we need to follow the formula I equals P times R times T. So all we need to do is to multiply all of these values, so we have 20,000, times 0 0.075 times 5 years and this gives us a value of 7,500. So what is the meaning of this? The simple interest earned is 7,500 pesos. Second example, find the interest rate. A 15,000 savings account earned 510 pesos interest in two years. What was the interest rate? So here we have the 15,000 as the principal value. The 510 is the interest earned. The time is two years. And the unknown is the rate. 
Following the formula I equals PRT, we have to substitute the given value. So we have 510 as the value of the I equals 15,000. R is a known times the time, which is 2. First, we have to simplify the right side. 15,000 times R times 2 gives us 30,000 R equals 510. We need to divide both sides by 30,000. And the value of R here is 0 0.017. So what is the meaning of this? The interest rate is 1.7%. Third example, find the length of time. Mr. Wilson borrowed 120000 in a bank with 6% interest rate. He was told to pay an interest of 48600 What is the length of time it will take for him to pay the interest? So here, based on the given problem, we have the principal value which is 120000 interest rate of 6% or 0 0.06, the interest value of 48,600, and the unknown is the time. Following the same formula, I equals P times R times T, substitute all the given values, so we have 48,600 equals 120,000, times the rate, which is 0 0.06, times time. Multiply all the values on the right side, we have 7,200 T equals to 48,600. We divide both sides by 7,200 to solve for the value of T. Cancel this. So dividing this two, we have T, which is equal to 6.75. So T is equal to 6.75. 6 refers to the number of years and the 0.75 refers to months. So how do we get the number of months? We have to multiply 0.75 to 12 and the value is 9. Therefore, this means It will take 6 years and 9 months for Mr. Wilson to pay the interest. Let's have the second formula. This formula is applicable in finding the future or maturity value. So we have the formula A equals P times 1 plus R times T. A here stands for the future or maturity value which is equal to the interest plus the principal. And the rest of the variables are the same with the first formula for simple interest. Let's have an example. Find the maturity rate. Find the maturity value for a loan of 30000 to be paid in 9 months with interest rate of 5.2%. Here we are looking for the maturity value given the principal value of 30000 time which is 9 months, and to convert months in terms of year, we need to rewrite this in the form of 9 over 12, where 9 represents to 9 months and 12 represents to 12 months. 9 over 12 is equal to 3 fourths. And R, which is 5.2%, or in decimal, we have 0 0.052. And what we're looking for is the value of A, the maturity value. And to solve for it, we have to follow the formula A is equal to the principal times 1 plus the product of the rate and the time. All we need to do is to substitute the given values. We have 30,000 times 1 plus the rate 0 0.052 times the time which is 3 fourths. Simplifying, we have 30,000 times 1.039. This is equal to 31,170. And this means that 
the maturity value of the loan is 31,170 pesos. Next formula is for the present or principal value. It is given by P is equal to A over 1 plus R times T. This formula was derived from the maturity or future value. For an example, find the present value of 320,000 in 4 months at 9% interest. So here we are looking for the value of P, where A is given by 320,000, time, which is in 4 months, and to convert this in terms of year, we have to write this in the form of 4 over 12, which gives us 1 third, and the rate, which is 9%, or 0 0.09. Following the formula to find the present value, we have P is equal to A, which is 320,000, over 1 plus R, which is 0 0.09, times t, which is one-third. Simplifying this, we have 320,000 divided by 1.03. Dividing this two, this gives us 310,679.61, which means The present value of 20,000 is 310,679.61. After discussing how to find the simple interest, the present value and the future value, try the following examples. You may pause the video to answer this problem. Are you done? The answer here is the future value is worth 134,680. Try another example. Let's check your work. The answer here is 0.75 year or 9 months. Were you able to answer this? Try another one. Let's check your answer. Here, the principal value is 5,500. What are the important concepts that you have to take note? When we say interest, it refers to the charge or fee for using someone's money. And there are two types of interest. We have the simple interest and compound interest. When we say simple, it is the charge on the amount invested or borrowed on which the interest charge is calculated only on the principal. And to find the simple interest, we have to follow the formula I equals P times R times T. To find the future value, we need to follow A equals P times 1 plus R times T. And to find the principal value, we have P is equal to A all over 1 plus R times T. This is the end of our discussion. I hope you have learned a lot about simple interest. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and comment on this video. Bye everyone. See you on our next video.